Welcome back guys, we got a new video today. In our last video we ended up taking the hood off, and both fenders off, throwing them outside in our scrap pile. And we began to dig into the bodywork that's on the driver's side and realized that it's going to be uh, pretty substantial. They filled in Bundo pretty deep uh, to fill in a dent and I want to dig all of that out today and see how bad the damage is and try to do a little metal work on that area today. So let's get to it. All right, I removed all the bondo out of the damaged area, and man, what a dent. I don't, they pulled this edge here, and they didn't pull any back here, which is only three holes, and there's, there's two right here. So anyway, uh, man, they could have pulled that out and not had to use that much bond. I, I guarantee you it was that thick right here in the middle, just, just terrible. So anyway, this it's damaged. It's damaged all the way down. So anyway, now I know what I've got. It's not, it's not too bad around this Jeep emblem right here. So anyway, I can fix that. There's a little damage here. There's a there's a line. There's a crease right there where that hinge is. I don't know. They've done something. Probably when they jacked the door off the hinge. But anyway, there's there's damage right there. I'll have to try to pull that back out. So anyway, I'm really I'm concerned about working this crease right here. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. It'll work itself out. It always does, but it's gonna be aggravating. Got to get a wire brush next and get some of this rust out of here. Shine that up. I'm gonna weld these holes up along with these two holes on the side. There's five holes I got to weld up, and I'll be ready to start spreading a little body filler when I actually. Then I will need to put my stud welder on it and pull the dent out, get it to where it needs to be, the metal this way, and then I'll put some body filler on it. I was just sanding this area. I want you to look what happened. They uh, bondoed over a sticker. I never cease to be amazed. If any of y'all is considering doing some body work and maybe more than one vehicle, uh, I would recommend getting something like this. 
this is a stud welder where you weld these little these little pins to your body and that gives you a pulling point so you can manipulate the metal and move it you can take like a dent let's say it would take a, a tablespoon of bodybuilder you can make it take like a thimble full it just it really helps you minimize on the body filler and I'm going to use it on this area and there's some other spots just like regular door dings I use it on a regular door ding I get down to the metal what it is is you have to have two points of contact for this thing to work this piece right here has to ground on the metal while this where you put the pin in is also touching the metal when you have those two points of ground then it will weld itself to the metal so where I, I just start at like one of the lowest points right there pull the trigger about three good seconds and you've got a, a welded stud there that you can pull really hard from so anyway before I get to pulling that I'm going to work on some of this down through here see if I can move some of this metal out because see if I can get you a better angle That's all it is to it. I'm gonna get to doing some of these studs and I'm gonna pull some of this den out. Another reason I went with this particular kit, it's a little bit higher. You can get this stuff at like Harbor Freight, but the uh, reviews say the first thing you need to upgrade is this piece right here. And I hate to buy a tool and have to instantly start upgrading it. So this, the motor guard kit comes with this good slide hammer. Throw your wheel back on the stud. You see all that move out? I mean, that, that, that cuts your work down so much because there's no body filter. It's not here, I guarantee you, it's just going to finish this den off. Literally. I'm, there, there's hardly any dent left. It's nothing like it was. I'm gonna pull down through here in a few more places. The more of this I get out, the stronger this will be. You can see how that pushes back in. But as I can get some more of this out, that'll stay out a lot better. So, people just won't spend the time. And if you're gonna be doing it a lot, you need the tools to do it with. You know, I've had it for probably two years now, but man, it works great. been working on this for probably a solid hour straight it's wavy I mean there's a couple little spots on it but the big dent is gone I'll have to glaze it of course with some body filter this dent up here is gone I've got this crease cleaned out with their body work and I'll probably use some fiberglass and that crease the problem I've got now is there's a little metal missing right here this right here this piece this fender is supposed to almost touch this piece right here and of course it don't so i gotta see if i might can weld that up a little bit and then finish it off with a little uh fiberglass so anyway i've still got to deal with all this right here but it took a little longer than i thought but I'd rather do it early than I had late, so I don't want to have to do it again. Anyway, it feels pretty good actually. these holes welded up I'm gonna have to grind some of them welds off but I am closing my eyes when you see me hitting the weld button 
uh, I just don't have a, a mask good enough to wear down here. It's at my father-in-law shop. So anyway, I'm having to make do with what I've got. So getting some of these holes welded up and I'm gonna grind some of these welds off now. All right, I'm gonna try to cut me some metal and try to figure out a way I can fill that hole up. All right, guys, I got the hole filled in with metal and welded up nice. I like that a lot. Anyway, now I can do my body work. I got all these holes filled up. There's no holes left in it. All right, this is a product I just went to town and purchased a while ago. I'm going to use that to skim over some of these, uh, these deeper spots. I couldn't get that right there to pull out. I got the gap right there, right? I'll have to put a little bit between that gap. But anyway, I wanted to go to fiberglass with that. That's what I want to use right up here. Okay guys, I've started sanding down the side while I'm waiting on my pour 15 to dry up here on the front. And I've discovered there's body work all the way down. The whole side so far has been skimmed. And it's not good and level. There's a low spot there. So anyway, I will end up having to probably skim this whole side with filter. To make it good and flat and it's going to take a while so anyway jj has proven to hold true to his name once again man this is the body work that these people whoever they paid if they if they paid anybody if they done it themselves i don't know it's just it's got a ton of body work on it and it's uh it's not really great this up here was actually pretty terrible this is not i don't have a problem with that other than it's just not level i'm gonna have to that's why they had it sprayed with primer back that far they was just probably roughed it in real quick well actually no it's got this is factory right here primer factory sealer base coat clear coat and then here's another paint job base coat and clear coat and on that paint job between the original factory one and the last one they done is a layer of Bondo. And then something happened that would cause them to spray the black, flat black primer on it that made the side so dull. So I don't know what all has happened to this thing, but man, it's, uh, I mean, it's just JJ. He's had a hard life. Body work and paint jobs hard anyway. And then you have to deal with stuff like this and then realize you're going to have to skim the whole side of it. I need to dig the biggest part of their body work out so I can see what's down there and what I'm fixing. guys I got the bondo ground out I don't know if the camera did it justice about how deep it was right here in these spots pretty deep but anyway I just wouldn't have ever felt right if I hadn't have taken their bondo out with my own end that way I know what I'm dealing with under here this metal needs to be moved out uh, I'm gonna have to stub weld it they left it in deep 
and just filled it up with body filter. So anyway, and uh, I realized about, I don't know, three quarters of the way through that, that I had my safety glasses on top of my head. If you're ever grinding, don't do like I do. Put your glasses on your eyes. Uh, I, I'm not a good example on some of this. So anyway, I want to get the DA out and I'm going to sand the rest of this body filter off and uh, that way I can start stud welding this panel and maybe moving it out a little bit so the body filter will be super thin when I get through glazing it. Right there is caved in. Let's see if I can bring that back out with my stub wood. That's pretty, pretty substantial right there. I don't know if I'm bringing that much back out. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it almost looks like a ramp shooting off towards the tire. really nice I mean that's how long it takes to do something right I'll skim that with body filler but it won't take a whole bunch of it they didn't even fix that because it goes under the fender flare so they just they just left it bent which is not the right way to do things but it's coming out nice but it's just having to go back and redo somebody else's mistake I'm done with the stud welding. That is nice and level now. It's got it's got a bunch of little ripples to it, but there's no dents in it anymore. So to get the ripples out in little high spots, I'll have to, uh, of course, glaze it with body filler. But yeah, that's so much more nice than it was before. And I mean, I've been working on it probably. I don't know, hour and a half to get that done. So this little spot back here that I showed you earlier look kind of like a ramp going off to the tire. Man, it's, it's, it's level. So nice. So anyway. Well, y'all, I didn't get a lot done this week, but, well, actually I did. It just looks like I didn't. Uh, that's going to wrap up this video. I'll try to get more stuff done. I was planning on having this whole side uh, glazed, maybe not under primer, but at least further than this. But there were some unexpected things going on. I didn't realize this right here was going to be such a big deal. But anyway, if y'all liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you hadn't subscribed and you're watching this video, please hit that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell notification. That way, every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified to come watch. So, anyway, I thank y'all for watching, and as always, I'll uh, thank you for your comments. Y'all come back next time, and we'll see what we got going then. Yeah! yeah.